cracking on with this. Yeah, they are, they're just in the middle of uh, putting the roof trusses on now. Last time I looked at this, they were just putting the girders up, but now they've got the machine up, they're bolting on the roof trusses. They've done three quarters of it, just that section there to do. We are then, they've only been working on it four days now, but they've got the steel frame up, they've got the roof timbers up, I noticed they put the timbers on the side for the cladding, and also now they've, they've finally finished sort of bolting the bases to the ground, and they've also concreted, concreted them in, so now they should be firm in place. Quite interesting though, the old buildings that we built before with steel frames, the girders went straight into the ground, concreted right down to about three or four foot underground. These new designs now, they're concreted, um, there's a concrete base put in and then they're just bolted to some steels put in the concrete. So in fact you can just unbolt that and take the shed away if you wanted to, which is a much better idea. Anyway. They're going to get the concrete side panels in here probably in the next week or so and also put the roof on and the wooden side panels. So, um, well the speed they're going, I reckon they'll finish it next week. Pretty good really. Roof sheets have just arrived for the shed. Roof let's say profile sheeting, cladding, building boards. There we go. So the roof will be going on the shed later today.
I just missed them unloading the uh, roof sheets. So here we are. Uh, three stacks of roof sheets. I think it's concrete fibre. They used to be asbestos, but that's been banned now. So there we go. Next to that is the roof, all the side cladding, which they've all just got uh, started on. So that'll all be going up today. I expect the roof are gone after all the side cladding. There we go, look. Started putting the side cladding on. Won't be long till they finish all that round. They've done that in probably a couple of hours, done half the shed. There's the cows the other side grazing around it. The other side of the electric fence. that but it says in internet safety net services and they've uh, just come out today to put the netting up on the roof and this is to stop people falling through the roof when they're putting the sheeting on so the idea is that hang underneath it and uh, if you fall off the roof while you're putting the sheets on that should stop you breaking your neck Guys, just pulling it up. I just come to have another look at the shed. The guys have been cracking on with it all week, and um, well, they've done a pretty good job. They've they've got the roof on completely now, and they've done all the side timbers. Um, just leaves the concrete panels to put in, which I think are coming on Monday. And we're just going to have a quick look inside and see what it looks like now. Here we go. Kind of strange, really, because we've still got the bare dirt floor. Where we're gonna have to put some concrete down. And they've still got a bit of edging to put around it. There we go. But other than that, timbers are up, roof's on. All looking good. 
I'm not sure when we'll get this finished because we've got to get water troughs in here yet. We'll get electric in and we've got to uh, concrete the floor so it's still quite a lot of work and how much of that we do ourselves I'm not quite sure. We've got to get gates on the end there as well. But a pretty good job really. The other concrete panels have just arrived, all the way from Lydney, that's where they're made, the other side of the River of Severn. So they'll be unloading those now, and um, well, I don't know where they'll get them up today. Just a bit, a bit quicker in block work, isn't it? Yes. And there's just concrete panels, and they just slot together. And as he says, it's easier than us trying to put a breeze block wall up there. 
we just pin them to the post. Before we take it out, you just unbolt them and you've got yourself a clear shirt again. I've just sat the tractor. After building the shed, there was quite a bit of dirt left over from scraping out the foundations. So that's all going to go in the field now in a few ruts. So I'm just loading it into that trailer over there. And uh, hopefully we can get rid of this. Just tip this alongside the track it's difficult to see it but basically where the track is the level of the ground is quite a bit below the concrete where the cows have sort of eroded it they stepped off the concrete so i'm hoping to just tip this out here and just level it and i'll level up the loader in a minute there we go about half the pile moved now. Tom sorting out the stones from it, put them in the wheelbarrow, move them out of the way because we don't want those in the middle of the field. And I'm tipping this now so we're going to have a look where I've tipped it. There we go, I've got all the soil down now. I've levelled it a bit with a loader bucket and rolled over it but there's still a lot of stones to pick up. You can see the odd brick so um, I'm going to have to sort this out, which should probably take me a few hours. There you are, some of the stains I've got out. Pretty hefty one there, I can't really leave those in because it'll knacker up the machinery and not great for the cow's feet. So I'm using a crowbar over there to dig out any stains I can. The little ones will have to stay.